In a world teetering on the brink of technological warfare, the insatiable power grabs of global giants cast long shadows over international diplomacy as they vie for dominance in a sector critical to national security and economic prosperity. The unabashed maneuvering of the U.S. and the retaliatory posture of China have ripped open the facade of diplomatic decorum, revealing a seething cauldron of tensions ready to boil over. Amid this high-stakes game, Taiwan's pivotal role as the kingpin in the semiconductor industry places it squarely in the crosshairs of an impending storm that could reshape global power structures. As the U.S. government pours billions into domestic semiconductor production, ostensibly to shield its national interests, it also stokes the flames of an already volatile situation, prompting accusations of economic imperialism and technological monopolization. These actions, coupled with stringent sanctions on China, not only provoke ire, but also threaten to fragment the global market, pushing us ever closer to a bifurcated world marred by technological iron curtains and economic isolationism. This narrative is not just about chips. It's a chessboard of geopolitical intrigue where every move could precipitate a cascade of economic and political upheavals. The potential invasion of Taiwan by China over TSMC is not a distant possibility, but a looming reality that could send shockwaves through the corridors of power worldwide as nations scramble to secure their technological futures. The global community stands at a precipice, watching as the giants play a game where the stakes are nothing less than supremacy in the digital age. Stay with us till the end as we unravel the layers of this complex story, challenging the narratives and uncovering the harsh truths behind the headlines. This is not just news. It's a deep dive into the future of our world. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. In the geopolitical theater, where the stakes are global economic stability and technological supremacy, recent developments have underscored a looming crisis that could reshape the landscape of international relations and commerce. The U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo has voiced serious apprehensions about the potentially disastrous repercussions for the U.S. economy should China take aggressive action towards Taiwan, specifically targeting the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, ATSM such a scenario, she argues would be absolutely devastating for America's access to essential technological components. The crux of the issue lies in the U.S. heavy reliance on TSA company that not only dominates the semiconductor industry, but also, as of now, supplies 92 of America's leading-edge semiconductor chips from its bases in Taiwan. These components are vital for everything from consumer electronics to critical defense systems. Raimondo's comments came during a U.S. House hearing, where she chose not to speculate on the probability of such an aggressive move by China, but instead highlighted the severe impact it would have on U.S. technological capabilities. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. In a proactive response to these looming threats, the U.S. Commerce Department has implemented significant measures aimed at reinforcing domestic semiconductor production. This includes a substantial incentive package for TSMC's operations within the United States, featuring a $6.6 .6 billion subsidy coupled with up to $5 billion in low-interest loans. These funds are intended to support the construction and operation of TSMC's expansive fab campus in Phoenix, Arizona TSMC on its part has responded with a robust commitment to enhance its U.S. investments, raising the total projected investment from $40 billion to an impressive $65 billion. This expansion plan includes the establishment of a third semiconductor fabrication facility in Arizona by the year 2030, aimed at significantly boosting the company's manufacturing capacity on U.S. soil. The specifics of the expansion include three FAB modules at the Arizona site, with the first FAB 21 Phase 1, scheduled to commence operations in 2025, focusing on 4NN and 5N class chip production. The subsequent phases are set to introduce even more advanced technologies, with Phase 2 slated for 2N class chip production by 2028. This strategic expansion 
is not without its controversies and geopolitical implications. A U.S. security publication had previously suggested that in the event of a Chinese takeover of Taiwan, the U.S. might have to consider the extreme measure of destroying TSME fabs to prevent China from accessing some of the world's most advanced semiconductor production capabilities. Such drastic action underscores the critical role these facilities play in national security. The director of Taiwan's National Security Bureau has countered these grim forecasts by asserting that even if seized, these fabs would be rendered ineffective without access to specialized tools and supplies, which are heavily regulated. Furthermore, Taiwan has committed to defending these critical assets in the event of any conflict with China. The situation presents a complex tapestry of economic dependencies, strategic vulnerabilities, and potential military entanglements. The U.S. and Taiwan, by imposing sanctions on China, are navigating a precarious balance of deterrence and engagement, attempting to safeguard their economic interests and national security while facing the specter of escalating tensions with a major global power. As the global community watches these developments unfold, the decisions made in Washington, Taipei, and Beijing will likely have far-reaching consequences for international economic stability and the strategic balance in the Asia-Pacific region. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. As tensions simmer, the international community remains on edge closely monitoring the intricate dance of diplomacy and deterrence. The stakes are particularly high for the U.S., which has positioned itself as a pivotal player in the semiconductor industry through its dependencies and alliances. The reliance on TSE for a staggering 92 of its leading-edge chips not only underscores the strategic importance of Taiwan in the global tech landscape, but also highlights the vulnerability of U.S. technological infrastructure to geopolitical shifts the proactive steps taken by the U.S. government to mitigate these vulnerabilities through financial incentives and the bolstering of domestic production capacities represent a significant strategic pivot. This move towards self-reliance is indicative of a broader trend among nations to secure their supply chains in critical sectors, particularly in technology and manufacturing. The U.S. initiative to enhance its semiconductor manufacturing capabilities on home soil is not merely an economic measure but a clear signal of its intent to maintain technological sovereignty and national security. The expansion of TSMC's operations in Arizona is poised to be a game-changer for the local and national economy. By increasing its investment and expanding its manufacturing capabilities, TSMC is not only contributing to the technological prowess of the U.S., but also creating thousands of jobs and stimulating economic growth in the region. The construction of the FAB modules and the subsequent phases of development will involve significant capital expenditure, labor, and technological expertise, all of which contribute positively to the U.S. economy. However, this shift towards domestic production and the reduction of reliance on foreign entities for critical technologies does not come without its challenges and criticisms. Some analysts argue that such moves could lead to increased tensions and a fragmentation of the global market. The bifurcation of technology standards and the potential for a technological cold war could lead to inefficiencies and slow down the pace of innovation globally. Moreover, the sanctions imposed by the U.S. and Taiwan on China have further complicated the international relations landscape, potentially leading to retaliatory actions from Beijing that could harm global economic stability. The delicate balance of power in the Asia-Pacific region is also a critical aspect of this discussion. Taiwan's strategic position as a leading semiconductor producer makes it a focal point of U.S.-China relations. The island's commitment to defending its assets and the U.S. commitment to supporting Taiwan in the event of aggression by China add layers of military complexity to the already tense economic and political relations. The possibility of military conflict, while still a last resort, looms as a dark cloud over discussions of economic policies and technological collaborations. In light of these complex dynamics, the global community must navigate a path that fosters cooperation and innovation while safeguarding national interests and security. The role of international organizations and multilateral agreements becomes increasingly crucial in mediating these tensions and providing frameworks for cooperation that transcend nationalistic tendencies. The implications of these developments are profound not only for the parties directly involved, but also for the global economy at large. The semiconductor industry 
with its deep interconnections across various sectors and nations, serves as a bellwether for the health of global technological progress and economic stability. As such, the decisions made by the U.S., China, and Taiwan in the coming years will likely resonate through the corridors of global power, influencing economic policies, security strategies, and the technological landscape for decades to come. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.